Hey divas and gents, I'm coming to you with the Butterbee Scraps Design Team project and this will be my um, last project that I will be doing for Butterbee Scraps. I will no longer be on the team. Um, I have been designing for Monique for about a year and a half <laughs> and it has been fabulous. She has been the best to work with for a store owner and just letting you pretty much have freedom of doing whatever you like with her store goodies and I thank you so much Monique for having me on the team and all your great products and this isn't going to stop me from shopping at the store because I love the stuff and I know that when she opens this store her new dot com she's going to have some fabulous stuff and yes I will be in line making my orders <laughs> I just have to pay for them now <laughs> But that is great. That is fine. And um, <clears throat> so you might guys make sure that you continue going to her store and keeping up with her. I will put Monique's link below so that you always have a YouTube channel to go to so you can see when she puts her new products in the store. And I will also put the Zibit store there. She hasn't opened her .com yet, but if you subscribe to her channel, then you'll know when she does all that. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive on in and I'm going to show you the products, of course, first that I use and then I'm going to show you what I did. All right, let's try to move this quickly. I used these metal pieces right here. These do not bend. These are actually a heavy, there we go, a heavy metal. Um, they're pretty heavy. Okay, these big old Mama Jamma photo corners. I used these right here. Super cute little embellies. I use these beautiful little border pieces that are gorgeous. And this filigree piece I used. These are the SS12s. And this is the size that you would use to fit in the middle of there. The perfect fit. Okay. Then I used, oops, those. Those. That and these cute little tiny cabochons. And then I did use the remaining, oh, these are like my favorite little, um, right here, they're little resins. I'm gonna show you, they were the last two I had. So I finished off the bag. Wah. Okay. Let's get all of that over. And then, okay, and the tutorial, I'm gonna put in the link below, below. <laughs> below from Christy and um, to make these little file cards okay so let me go ahead and show you one by one these are cute little file cards oh and as an FYI this makes four cards onto my 20 from last month <laughs> so um, now that puts me at 10 cards with 10 more to go <laughs> so anywho um, I just use plain cardstock, the Recollections cardstock from Michaels. And um, I don't even remember the paper, name brand of the paper, but it was paper that I won in a giveaway from Laura and Elise like a very long time ago. So, okay. So I used this doily. This is a paper bag lady doily. This is just a little um, pinwheel that I made with vellum. And there is the heart. This is the metal heart, and what I did is I used patina rub and buff. That's this one right here. I absolutely love this stuff. I was inspired by Heidi, who is another design team member for um, Butterbee. She uses that a lot in, in her jewelry and stuff she makes, and it's amazing. So um, I went to the store and bought it, and I just put it on this heart, the metal heart, so you can't even see that it's a metal. And then... Um, I use, these are the, did I not put them there? Oh, I must have packed them. I'll have to put the, take them back out. But these are the flat backs. The light, um, is it topaz? No, topaz is the brown color. It's the blue color that she has in the store. And um, so I put those sporadically through here from Monique's store. Okay, so that's kind of how it looks. And then I just used my love punch. I put some Baker's twine course there's some glue <laughs> and I just wrapped it around a few times so they hang at the end and then I just hung a little dangle nothing nothing major I always got to add an extra little something and then you just open it like that 
and then do your writing and that's just from the seam binding. You could also put little sentiments right here. I think Christy had did that like the Tim Holtz little word stickers that he has. Or if you have a stamp that's small enough to say thank you or be day or whatever, you could totally put it on the tab. That would be super cute. Okay, so this is card one. This is card two. Same paper line. All of this is the same paper line. So some of you might recognize which one it is. So I just used a paper doily right here. Uh, Butterbee, or Butterbee, Paper Bag Lady Doily, <laughs> and here's the Butterbee Butterfly, and this was the last one I had, so I don't have the package anymore, and what I did is I spray painted it, and then this is also a Butterbee Scraps one, this is this one right here, and then I just used the Cabbage On, this one right here. And I just took a piece of this paper and found a, it was like a little cameo. So I just um, used glossy accent and put that on there. Super cute, right? And there's the big Mama Jamma photo corners here and up here. And then I have a little heart bling right here for Michaels on top and bottom. And look at that. How long has it been since we've seen those, right? Those are the old school Tim Holtz tickets. I still have them and love them. And I just put stickles on the word hope. And then I um, used vintage photo to chalk around the corners. Super cute though. I love it. And then this is just the inside. So that's card two. Card three is this one right here. I just used a paper doily. I think I got that from Michaels. And then paper bag lady doily pretty much all my doilies you ever see me use are probably from julie <laughs> so we have the metal piece here at the bottom it's a copper metal piece this one right here and then all i did was lay this on top of it which is in bronze so i switched up the colors and then there's where um, you can see that there's the bling in the metal Super cute. And there's the little do doodads that I have right there. Did I show the other? Yeah, that was using these ones right here. And there's the borders. Are those not Uber? Love those. They're super flat. These can be cut through also and bent. And then I just used some brown baker's twine and I hung a little dangle. And this right here is just one, it's like a little charm holder you can put cabbage on on. And I just, this is the last two of the little resins. I love these ones. Those are absolutely the cutest. So it just hangs from the top. I love it. And I, this one right here, see this was the little cameo thing that I put the little cabbage on on. It was this one right here actually. And I cut it out of another sheet. But see this right here, I haven't put thank you birthday or whatever or here so i might still do that i don't know yet i just left it blank okay so that's card three and then this is the last card i used um a sizzix die and i just put it to the edge so that i cut a portion of it off and this is where i did some layering i uh this is what's at the bottom then i just put this on top of that and then on top of that, I put this. This is not permanently adhered to this, so you would have to adhere it yourself. But it's really, really, really cute. It's glass. Okay, this is part of the same paper line. And I used Baker's Twine in an orange color. And then I hung another one of these cute little dangles. So I love how these came out and how you can use the metals. I used rub and buff, I used spray paint, and then I just left it natural. I actually love the color of the natural metal. I'm a very big fan of that. So here are my four little cards that I did for Butterbee. And of course, like I said, I'll have all the information listed below and also the tutorial on how to make these cute little things. You just have to have the punch board. It's the envelope punch board um, to make these. And other than that, thank you ladies so much 
that have been there watching all my Butterbee videos, commenting for everything, and just been with me through the whole time. Thank you so much. I hope you continue to join me in my journey to come of other stuff and other ventures I'll be getting into. And please stick, uh, you know, stay true to Monique and stay true to her store. She'll love it and she appreciates it. You have no idea. She works very hard to do what she can um, to get everything that everybody likes in that store. So stay tuned and I will be back. Bye beautiful ladies.